Okay, continuing on with part two. Okay, so if we go into octahedron mode, you can see that this is not how we want it to. Press first with this, press Alt P, clear parent. Now select both of these. <coughs> Like that and rotate. Okay, rotate this 180 degrees. Good. Okay. So now let's do some naming. Leg. Out here, let's add one more bone. Me, oops, not L. Heel, not L. Foot, oops, L. Ridge, not L. And toes. Bell. Okay. Now let's grab both of these, the bridge and the toe, and parent it to the foot, and keep the off offset, and parent this heel bone to the foot. Keep offset. Okay. So let's go into pose mode and this is what we get full foot moves okay now we want to grab this in the leg and press shift i to active bone and we want to set the chain length to 2 and now what you see is an ik constraint at its work and this <coughs> And for this, you want to turn off the form. And the same with the heel. Okay, tap into animal and, pre and parent this to that. By selecting this, shift select this, and control P keep offset. So, I get that. Okay, that's good for the leg. I'll name this shoulder L. Oops. Let's see how I'll do on time. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, upper um, L. And I'm using that dot L at the end of it because once we mirror all of this over, it'll will press uh, pose flip names, and we can copy what we do over here to over here. Now you guys probably don't understand that yet, but I will explain it as we go on. Okay, so now on top view. Let's click where the fingers are going to be. And press shift, oops, shift A, and grab it out to the fingertip. And now let's just go back into the bone. Not, well, let's keep it as is for now. That centered up good. And let's hide that so it doesn't get in our way. 
and we're gonna duplicate this. But let's first let's move this to layer two. Shift D and one. one. All right, so let's just select it. Shift D, Enter, and one. Let's go back to layer one. And W subdivide. Um, three cuts should be good. And extrude that out. Okay. Okay, top view. I also got this fingering rig from another tutorial. Okay, so now let's just bring this up a little. And that's a good idea. You should always do that because, well, if you don't, the finger ring might not work out right. So move this back to layer one. And press Shift S, cursor to selected. And Shift S, selected to cursor. Okay, so now everything's centered up good. And in pose mode, to uh, Alt P, clear parent, and Shift I to active bone. So now we'll move it, and yeah, like that. And we want to parent this to that. So control P. Now when we scale it, it does nicely. It nicely curls up the finger. <coughs> but if we move the hand, it's not following. So let's press Alt H to unhide and control P to and keep the off at offset. But what's it doing? You're probably wondering. We also want to parent this. And what is it doing? Alright, so I'll tell you what we can do. <laughs> Let's add another bone. Move down. Move it back down onto the Z axis. Press Control P. Oh. Ah. I don't know what it's doing. Usually this doesn't happen. Let me just pause it and figure this out. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Now all I you wanna do is you wanna select the thing the this part of the finger and add a copy location constraint and select armature and the bone which is this so now if you move that the whole finger will move if you scale it it still works perfectly pretty cool okay but now 
I'm gonna grab this on the y axis and try scaling this again, and that's better. Okay. Make sure you save. Now let's go on and name these. So let's say Inver Control. Uh, Inver Control Index. Control. Index start. L. Index mid. L. Index tip. L. And index ik. L. And we want to take this off of the form. There and right there. Okay, so now everything should still work properly. Now let's just select all this. Go into top view and shift D right over here. Rotate it around to fit. I actually want to grab this on the x-axis and fit right there. Good. Should work the same. Just the naming process. Finger control. I hate naming things by the way, just but I because uh, it just keeps things organized. So still middle mid dot L middle uh and dot L middle I K dot L Okay, now we're going to top view. Select all that. Oops. Good. Shift D. <coughs> Sorry about that. Scale it way down. Just going to make sure it works good. Finger control uh ring dot L ring start dot L ring A dot L ring end dot L and See how we're doing on time, and all right, <coughs> probably gonna stop it soon. Uh, let's just finish this up fast. I want to finish with the fingers, but YouTube will unfortunately only allow me uh, small. Uh, not too much over 15 minutes, so. Uh, pinky. Control. Now. Pinky. Start. Now. Pinky. Now. Uh, pinky and 
dot go and pinky ik l okay now select let's select all this when d not shift d sorry rotate x 90 Come to right view, drag it down there. Front view. Okay. Uh um control dot l um ik dot l um start dot l um a dot l um end dot l Okay, fingers are done. Now let's just make sure everything is parented and everything is all right. So fast, let's alt. Let's press Alt P to clear the parent, and now there's no parent for this. And press Shift I to active bone, and chain length is three. All right, let's make it two. And there you go. Okay, so next time we're gonna probably be starting with the face. That's right. So yeah, see you guys in the next tutorial.